It's not your theme song. Man, that's that. Go ahead. Good night, everybody. I was, I was going to... We're all on each other. You were, yeah. So, it's kind of a weird night. I'm kind of in a weird mood. There's high energy and lots of coffee. And I had this... It must be the results of the strangest weekend I had. I had a night where... Um, I was performing and it went a little philosophical. Sometimes you get up on a stage, stages are, are safe and easy. Uh, the truth of the matter is you come up here, not here because here it's like a shark tank, but a normal stage, you get up here and you, you do your thing and it goes, it, goes, it goes well because you're in control of it all and then you run away before anybody can mess it up for you, it's unlike here where it could go and you, you've already kind of seen where it can go. So. What happens is sometimes I get asked to do an event where I, I, I make an appearance as a performer. I, I show up and I rove around for a couple of hours, sort of like here. <laughs> there's no fourth wall. There's no plan. You make a couple of decisions and you go for it. And for whatever reason, last Saturday, I, was, I, I made a decision. I pulled a costume piece out. It was a, it's a green shirt and I haven't worn it in years. It was from the start of my performing career. Now, you don't know this because you're, you're new here, but I used to be really fat. I mean, I'm not a small guy. And I, I, I put it on and all of that emotion apparently was hiding in that shirt because I put it on and I turned to look in the mirror and said, let's do this and went and kind of fell apart. <laughs> But by the time it really got up to a head of steam, I was already on my way to the event. And so I was flipping out. Not like this, I mean real, genuine. I'm not talented, I'm not this, I'm not that, I'm fat, I don't have any skills, I don't know what I'm gonna do, I don't have a plan on what am I gonna do. And I started trying to think about who I was back then. And I was, I was the guy who hung out at drum jams. You know, we were talking about drum jams earlier. And, and you know, I, I learned to juggle, actually, at, at a drum jam. And I started thinking about drum jams and stuff like that, and I walked into the gallery, and there was a drum jam. <laughs> Good shirt. <laughs> Suddenly, I knew exactly what to do. Go shenanigate the drum, shenanigan facilitation, shenanigation. Go do that thing for the drum jam. Grab people who are walking by going, why is there a drum jam here at the art gallery? and grab them and get them drumming by any means necessary, including juggling maracas. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. Anything that would get them doing that. And in doing that, I got them lively, I got me lively, and I felt really pumped up. And then I said, okay, done here, this went well, leave the drummers, no plan. I, I go to this thing every month. I actually do it as part of the Gallery at Midtown project where we host our clown gym. So I, I decide it's my turn, I'm gonna go, and I, I visit all the galleries. So I'm gonna go visit all the galleries. I just pop in, say hi, talk to him for a bit, maybe do something. I don't really have a plan. I got a suitcase full of props with me, so anything could matter. Anything could happen, anything could materialize. And I just walk around talking to people, and it goes pretty well, and I get to this one gallery that is completely empty. It's complete, there's, there's one girl there like this painting. And she looks mad. Because all the other galleries are full of people. And I walk in, and, and a little background, I was an artist for about 20 years, a, a commercial artist before I became a performing idiot. I don't like the term performing artist. But I, I saw what she was going through. And I, I walked up to her and I started talking to her. And I realized pretty quickly that I was there to talk to her. And I said, hey, we talked a bit about how to find your, you know, find your 
your, your audience. They're, they're not here. So you need to go find them and drag them here kicking and screaming. Because the truth is, in both of my careers, she's got more talent in her half-finished painting and she needs to be seen. Her name's Lauren. Go to the galleries. Go see her work. There. I plugged you. I told you I would. Now show up at the show. Okay. Okay. So I did this and then I didn't have a plan, but I realized that she was in her spot and the drummers were in their spot and I needed to find my spot. That's what was wrong. I had made this decision with the mind of the perfect idiot, which is to say I had no plan and a really good shirt on. <laughs> and so I went walking around, went right up to the action and turned left. That's not a political or moral statement. That's just sort of how I roll. Yeah. So I walked up and I found a spot. I said this, I said it out loud. This looks like a good spot. And I set up my little camp and I made a decision I haven't made since the beginning of my career. I believe in being up. I believe motion is good. I'm a physical performer. Even talking to you, I want to be, ooh, I want to, I just want to do stuff. The idea of sitting down. Sorry about your neck. Taking a spot and roosting in it and not leaving is a terrible idea because theoretically my energy should go through the floor, right? Wrong, because I did it with an intention that I'd never had before. It was madness. Every child in the mall found me. There were two rings of kids, <laughs> which of course made what I was doing, which was juggling big heavy crystal objects, really dangerous. And I could not tell them that, but I did it. And what was gonna be, I'll stay here until it doesn't feel right, was the end of my night. And I performed nonstop with everything I had till the end of the night. It was amazing. I realized these three things have something in common. Really simple. You, you, you've probably figured this out just by meeting me in the short time we've been here together, but I come with a lot of baggage. I come with a lot of stuff in my attic that is not so great. But I brought it with me into that moment. I grabbed it and I said, okay, let's go. And I used it to find any good, whether it was to help something find its energy and grow, whether it was to, to help an artist find their way, or whether it was just to take my spot and not be afraid to walk away from it, not exit the moment. And so I did those things. I tell you, whatever's in your head that holds you back is also the thing that's gonna give you strength. Whatever your fundamental flaw is, I guarantee you, it is what makes you beautiful. And it is why I love to come to this place where I can just take a moment and see everybody scared, emotionally naked. I said emotionally, don't go anywhere with that. This is a really good moment. But we get to be that here together at the open stage. Welcome. Woo!